Hello everyone, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in Northern Arizona. Today's vlog is going to be a tour of my brand new classroom at my brand new school. So I previously taught in the East Valley of Arizona in the Queen Creek area. And we recently just moved up to Prescott area, um, which is a Northern Arizona city and it is a very small town um, and so we're kind of like a quad city area so i am going to be teaching in the quad city area i won't tell you exactly which district i'm in just to protect my own privacy but i am very very excited to be here um so today i thought that we would come in and just take a look at the empty classroom i did build like a digital version of my classroom on the sims 4 a few months ago which was super fun and I think what I might end up doing in a couple weeks is like rebuilding that just based on the changes I'm making. Um, kind of just after coming in here and seeing everything, the furniture, the layout, what's available, things like that. Um, I might end up changing the layout of the classroom on The Sims. So keep an eye out for that. But I thought today that I would just come in and give you guys kind of like a blank canvas tour of the classroom. There's a lot of stuff in here that needs to come down and be removed and like change. But overall, um, I'm really excited. The classroom is beautiful. Um, there's a lot of really amazing things in here. There's also a few things that obviously I'm going to either change or remove. So what I'm gonna do today is just kind of take you guys through. Um, there's only a couple things that are missing from my classroom that are mine. Um, one of them is like a large bookshelf like that. It's the black one that has like the two story. Um, and then there's a really big box that has like my lamps in it and like some bulletin board paper and like all of my taller items that I didn't want to just carry around. I wanted them in a box. So those are the only two items that are not currently here. Um, but everything else is here and it's, um, it's good to go. So I will just give you a brief tour. So just keep in mind all the things that are currently up in the room that are like, like physical, like you can see them on the walls and stuff. Just keep in mind, those are not mine um, and they will be coming down. I think maybe I'll do that today. But anyways, you come in the front door and then we pan this way and you can kind of see my huge wall of beautiful cabinets. Now I will have to repaint these. I'm planning on getting a bottle or a can of black chalk paint and just doing a nice thin um, overlayer. I'll probably have to wash these down first and then completely paint them, but I did get permission from my principal to do so. Um, and then my teammate who's next door, Jocelyn, she is also going to be painting hers, so we might just share a can of it since we won't need a ton. Um, one thing that I have noticed is this beautiful thermostat which is adjustable by me so right now it's 70 degrees in here and it is perfect um i already started putting some things in these cabinets and like i said a lot of stuff is not mine so i'll have to go through it and kind of dump um but a lot of my things are already in the cabinets in boxes not organized at all i will be coming in a few days during the summer and organizing those um the weeks that i'm not working for my sister so you have this really tall one, which is great. And all of these um, shelves can come out. So if I wanna make like a tall layer, I can. Um, but again, most of my stuff is in here. Some of the old teacher's things are in here, which I will probably get rid of. Like I'm not gonna need this one because um, I'm not a reading teacher unless I wanna use it for small group, which I will be conducting small reading groups. So I don't know for sure if I need to keep those or not. And then um, they left this huge box of Legos, which I'm psyched about because I do a lot of earthquake stuff and also the Lincoln Logs. So I'll be using those for science for sure. Um, and then again, I have a sink. It looks like the drinking fountain does not work. Um, I hate that this is like taped up like that. So I'll probably change that because I don't like that look. It's kind of icky. Um, and then I have all these under cabinets as well. This is a computer cart. This is a computer cart, Chromebook cart. It looks like everybody gets one. Um, they're like Dell, um, which is really nice. And then 
you can kind of see the TV over here. Is this a microphone? That's sick. Okay. So my big question was, do I have to keep the TV? Oh, wow. This, I'll probably get rid of this. I don't really need it. Um, and then this looks like just a regular computer, which I probably don't need. So my big question was, do I have to keep this TV here or can I move it around the room? So as I'm looking, it doesn't appear to need like a special plug. It's just kind of plugged into the wall here. As far as I know, I'm going to just kind of peek about and see, but from what I'm looking at, it looks like it doesn't need like a phone jack or anything. It looks like it just needs a plug. So my plan is to move it to that side of the room and have it sort of in the center of the two whiteboards because what I want to be able to do is like have like concept model space and then like vocabulary over here. So what I'll do is like I'll make my three vocabulary things and then on that way I can like draw on one side and have vocab on the other side and then over here I can have like my daily schedule and like things that never really go away. So yeah, I was thinking I could put things that like don't really move on this whiteboard um, or see if they can, um, well, no, I'll probably just leave this here. Um, or I could put my small group table in front of it and use this for like small group stuff. And then I do have two beautiful windows that have a great view. I'm not gonna really try to show you the view though, just for privacy reasons. There's a lot of rolling chairs in here, which I don't need. Like there's one, two, three, and then mine, four. I actually decided to bring my office chair here because in my new house, I will not have an office. Um, so I won't have a, ne a necessity for that chair. And then this big desk over here is probably going to be either one moved to a new location or two removed altogether. Cash, be careful. There's a mouse trap down there. Um, and so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this whole back wall is all bulletin board material. And as you can see, there's a lot of like icky like stains um, so what I'll probably do is cover most of this with like bulletin board paper. I actually considered doing like a better than paper wall, but I think that's going to be a lot of work. I would want it to be this one. And I just don't think that I have the funds to do that. I might be able to, I mean, I'd probably have to buy like five more rolls of it, but we'll see. Um, and then let's see what else. Okay. So the other thing I can have six groups of five students at each group, which is fine. I'm used to that. Um, I will probably see if I can either A, get another table, or I will create another table with these like hexagon tables that are around because I do have quite a few of them and make seven because I like having seven continents. And then this table is completely damaged. As you can see, someone's brag tag is like shoved under there. Um, yep, someone's brag tag. So this table is completely destroyed. What I'm asking, I already kind of put in a work order to either get it removed, fixed, or replaced, which my principal has assured me they put in a work order and so it might get fixed. If not, um, I might try to ask them if I can repair it myself with like some like super good glue and like Mod Podge just so that I can remove this tape because I'm not interested in having that. I would rather like Mod Podge the table and just, you know, not have that. Or honestly, like I'd rather even have desks that can form small groups. Um, be careful, please. So anyway, these tables are really nice though. They're very large. I think they're bigger than the tables I had before. And I like how they're gray and black. And then I also love how I have black chairs. Um, these are great because A, they're black, <laughs> and two, um, when you push them all the way in, the kids can still stand like right here at the table because they do a lot of standing work when working on their um, hands-on STEM activities, so that's going to be great. But yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff in here that I don't actually need. Like, I'm not probably going to need many of these tables. I won't need whiteboards. Um... I won't need this desk. I do love how there's a desktop computer, though. Oh, God, there's another mousetrap under there. That's scary. Um, 
So I'll probably hook this up and use it for like class dojo, like have class dojo pulled up on it all the time. And then the kids can go over there and like take points and give themselves points. I really like that. All right, so I forgot where I left off. My sweet principal stopped by to say hello. Um, another thing that's different is I have carpet instead of tile floors. So I'm gonna have to be really strategic about some of the labs that I do involving like water yeah. and mud. Um, but overall, so yeah, she just explained that yes, I can keep this TV anywhere that I want. So that's great. And then she also mentioned that I can dump anything I don't want into the hallway and just, I don't know, and just mark it as trash or please remove. So I think what I'm going to do today while I'm here is just take down all of the things that are on the wall. Oh, and she also said that if I wanted to repaint the room that I, I can, um, it just has to be like a neutral color. So what I would probably end up doing is painting it like just plain white. Um, or maybe like a really like lighter shade of beige um, just because like the damages around are just kind of like like this kind of stuff I just don't want to deal with it like the paint's chipping and like she also said that this desk is going to be removed which is wonderful news so I will also spend some time today taking all of the stuff off of it Okay, that's fine. And then she did confirm that there is going to be a replacement of this table and possibly giving me one more. And I said that if I needed to, I could keep this one and just fix it. If she gives me permission, I can just use like the Mod Podge um, to fix this table. And then I could have seven, so that's great news. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little bit of time here today, maybe an hour, just taking down all of the posters and things that are up on the wall and um, try to get them either put somewhere for yeah. trash or for any other teacher, like the parts of speech, my reading teacher might want that. And then like these math posters my math teacher might want that um same for up here so i'm gonna just kind of remove everything for now and then possibly try to assess some of this like furniture like this thing i do not want that is trash she told me um these two tables i don't know if i'll keep them i might keep them and maybe paint the edges of them with like a black chalk paint because I hate like the smudges. And then this one I might keep, I don't know yet, because I'm planning on, like if you watched my classroom, Sims classroom video, I'm gonna put my desk, my, my uh, rise and fall desk over here. Like this is gonna be my little corner, but I'll teach from here too. Like it won't just be like a desk because I have my black organizer and then my rising and falling desk will go there maybe my black table will go there in the corner just so I have more like space um and so all of this will kind of be put back there the tv is going to go here and then I don't know about Peach's cage I'm thinking maybe like maybe I could use one of these tables for Peach's cage or put her on top of this countertop but I also think maybe I'll keep these for like stations because I do a lot of stations um so those could be really good and then they would be just like permanent station tables. I'm not sure yet. I don't want to waste them because they're great tables. Maybe just get rid of this one because it doesn't have the black legs because I'm so anal about that. Like see how this table has black legs and this table has like tan legs. So yeah that's what I'm going to do and then Cash and I are going to go have lunch and go for a walk around the lake. So yeah let's do it. Also, my principal just brought this to me, and she said that every year one of our local churches um, sponsors the schools. And so in here are a few gift cards for supplies. Do you want to open it? Yes. It's okay to rip it. <gasps> Whoa, an Amazon gift card for a hundred dollars wow that's amazing what does the card say that's so cool so we'll save this 
for like markers or notebooks or dry erase markers or anything else mommy needs for her classroom. Isn't that cool? Maybe. Not for toys. All right, so we'll put it in there and keep it safe. Okay, so I've done a little bit of taking things down. I think I got all of it, minus like that. But I did get permission from my principal Mom. to paint this room. So what I might do is go look for like two cans of like discount paint, like something that they don't want anymore. Something that's very neutral, like very light, maybe even like a creamy white or something. And just come in here like the next couple weeks and you just paint. What? Okay. Oh, thank you so much. I don't want anything on Okay, me. why don't you keep playing with your monster trucks? But what I did think about was since I do have this sink area, I will probably use it for like a mini kitchen if I'm allowed to. So what I'm thinking is I'll plug in my microwave on the top of the counter here, like maybe over there in my coffee pot. And then I can put my refrigerator right here with like an extension cord up to that plug. Or I can put the extension cord on the floor, snaking around that way. I'm not sure yet, because um, I do have this plug here. So I could snake one down like around on the floorboards. I don't know if I want to do that though, so we'll see. But I did get this wall cleared off, and I did get a couple of pieces that I weren't sure I was going to keep out into the hallway, like that weird filing cabinet. I'm probably going to get rid of a few of these rolling chairs, because I don't need them. I will probably keep this one and maybe the one that's back there. I don't like how they like recline, that's kind of weird, but I might keep them anyway just for like a small group table or like as a prize, like they can sit in that chair for the day. Um, so as like a dojo prize, they could roll this chair over to where they sit and sit in that instead of the black chairs or I don't know yet. This is definitely gonna be like my desk chair. I need to clean it, it got destroyed in the move. Stop, um, stop, stop. Oh, you're putting that in my pocket? Thank you. Another one? So I don't know, we'll see about the whole fridge thing. It's either gonna go here, which would make the most sense, because I'm thinking that this cabinet up above the sink is where I'm gonna keep like my snacks and my food and like things that I need to cook with like dishes and things like that. And then above over here, I'm thinking I'll do like cleaning supplies, make this like a cleaning cabinet. Or I could put like, he's got vinegar in here. I could put all of my like liquid lab supplies in here, like even paper cups, things like that. So we're gonna stay another hour because my teammate's coming in and I just wanna <gasps> chat with her for a little bit. So I think I want to do right now, because this is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to be storing all of these crates up on the top of the cabinets. So what I might do right now is just put all of them up there so that they're up and out of the way, and then I can bring them down when necessary, because they're all kind of on this countertop, and I could get rid of them and just put them up, and then that's done. So I might do that. All right, you guys, so I did a couple more things in the classroom, just got some things up off the floor because I know the cleaning crew is coming in this week. Um, and then I ran into my teammate, Jocelyn, and we talked for quite a long time. It is now two o'clock in the afternoon. Cash and I are starving, so we're gonna go grab some lunch. And then I'm sure the next time I go oh, to look school- at, Look at. Yeah, they're flying their kite. 
Um, I am sure that the next time I go into work, it is going to be time for me to set up my classroom. And I know a lot of you are going to be like, why are you going in on your time off? I am somebody that really likes to have my classroom looking nice and I don't like rushing. I don't like being put under pressure to get my room done when everybody comes back to school. I'm going to have a lot of new to the district trainings that I'm going to need to go to and so I just want to have my room completely ready before I have to go back to work. So I will spend a few days, hold on please, I will spend a few days in my classroom during um, summer just getting things set up. I do have to repaint the room so it is going to be quite the job but once that's all done, like next summer, I won't have to come in and spend as much time because I did just move classrooms and I feel like that setup kind of just takes longer than the average. So anyway, I will be sure to pick up the camera and vlog that for you guys the next time I'm at school. But otherwise, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And of course, hit the subscribe button so that you can see all of the fun things I'll be posting this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.